Y'all, it's DG back with another video. And today, I'm going to be going over every single USA basketball shoe at the Team USA practices that went on yesterday. So I usually don't upload during the weekend, but we gotta talk about it, starting with Tyrese Halliburton with the debut of new colorways of the Kobe 4 Pro Tro USA. Y'all don't remember last year, Nike did a USA pack for the Kobe 6 Pro Tro, which we will see pictures of soon. I did include them in this video, but we have a navy pair right here and we also have a white pair it's a little bit weird because he didn't show the lateral side he showed the medial side but it basically looks the same let me know in the comments which one you think is better the navy or the white for me i would say the navy but i actually actually i like the white better one thing to call out though is that if you look really closely right here where the collar is it has the same material that they're using on the gt cut 3 and even the lebron 21 usa has it we're also going to go over that kd17 usa's has that type of print pattern so i just wanted to call that out for everyone who is into those little details for all of the usa pairs but we also see Kawhi shoe right here these are kds i'm pretty sure lebron's anthony davis's then we also have curry's in the back so out of these two which one do you like better we also have the new balance Kawhi four usa's these are a really good basketball shoe. It's definitely, yeah, I would say my favorite from the brand, although the two-way fours are really good, but these, these are like a low top type of shoe and the two ways don't look as good as these, I don't think, but this is a clean shoe. Hopefully these release, but we haven't seen too much noise from New Balance ever since the, you know, Nuggets got out of the playoffs, but this is what Kawhi's wearing. So we have Drew Holiday in the Sabrina 2 USA PEs. These literally just look like a Kobe 5 guys and they look really clean on feet especially with a solid rubber outsole because the the court visions didn't have a solid rubber outsole so let me know what you guys think of these i i'm starting to think that the sabrina 2 won't be on nike id which is really sad because it's been like a couple of weeks and they don't have any nike id for it but maybe we never know maybe they'll put it on but let me know what you guys think of these sabrinas Right here, we have Anthony Edwards in the AE1 Low USA. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to release because a lot of news outlets said that this three USA colorway pack is supposed to release for the lows. So rest assured, these are supposed to release, hopefully, if all of the news outlets are right. But let me know what you guys think of these. It seems like Adidas is really just waiting a long time to release the lows. So we're not going to get these for a while. Right here, we see Tyrese Halliburton wearing the Kobe 4 Pro Tro USA white on feet. These are so clean, guys. Hopefully these release, but I really don't think so. Because last year, again, we did get a Kobe 6 Pro Tro USA. But again, yeah, these might be my favorite just because the navy pair reminds me too much of the Phillies. But these are just super clean. Here we have Joel Embiid in the Skechers USA. I did play in this model before. It's a solid shoe. It doesn't really excel in a particular category, but it is comfortable. Definitely the stepping comfort is there, and that's what Skechers is kind of known for. So let me know if you guys actually have played in a Skechers basketball shoe. And Joel Embiid first, well, not the first. I think that was Julius Randle and Terrence Mann, but he's the face of the brand now for the basketball you know, section. So let me know what you guys think of these. Here we have a picture of the Kobe 6 Pro Tro USA. There was also another colorway for sure that Jordan Poole had, but you guys see this right here. This is so fire and only people from USA got these. So very, very limited. You can't even pay resale for them just because there's like no pairs out there. But let me know what you guys think of these right here. These are really tough. Again, this is from last year though um or the year before i can't remember but all i know is that jordan Poole had them and then he gave a pair to like gp2 he wore them during a game once but he is wearing the the fours right here which is for this year next up we have devin booker in this triple black book one i'm not sure you know if he's getting a usape i'm sure nike made him some but it seems like he's just going against the mold wearing a triple black shoe and it seems like he lost some weight guys i don't know there was this picture on his instagram where he was like super super skinny so not sure what's going on with with d book right now in the summer but he is wearing this triple black you know book one i think these are cool hopefully these release i like triple black shoes but overall 
it seems like he's going against the mold a little bit. He's not even using the USA backpack from Nike that they gave them. So he's wearing this camo one right here or this um, khaki one with the USA patch. But let me know what you guys think of these book ones. Here we have the LeBron 21 USA worn by LeBron James himself. And if you guys look really closely, let me try to zoom in. Yeah, if you guys look right here, they're using the same exact kind of print or material that they're using on the GT Cup 3 and the KD17, as well as those Kobe 4 Pro Tro USA. So it seems like that's kind of the theme for 2024 is this kind of print right here, but very, very clean. I don't think these will release guys, but hopefully we can get like an alternate version or something like that because the LeBron 21, definitely an underrated shoe, like performance wise and all of the colorways most definitely are just very, very good. So let me know what you guys think of these. Right here, we have the KD17 USA. This is actually available on Nike.com right now. So if you guys want to get these, just go to the link in my description. I have an affiliate link there, but I did get these on Nike.com, but I'm waiting for them to ship them out to me. seems like they're having shipping delays with the holidays and everything. So won't be able to get these for another few weeks or so. But let me know what you guys think of these. KD17, very good performer. Fits a little bit longer than the 15 and the 16, but I still recommend going true to size. But overall, it performs like the 16, just with better traction. So, and I do like the looks more than the 16. So this is definitely, you know, slightly an upgrade over the previous model. But let me know what you guys think of this colorway right here. And it's cool that Nike actually made this one available. Here we have Bam Adebayo with the Air Jordan 39 in this white cement colorway. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to release, but we can expect these to hit retail sometime soon, hopefully. Maybe this is the launch colorway. I actually need to read up on the Jordan 39 press release again, but overall, let me know what you guys think of the 39s. They're supposed to release in July, but overall, I think they're really good. I don't think there will be a low version. That's what they told me. It's supposed to be just one shoe and that's it, but they're really going with the minimalistic design and just all of the colorways that we've seen so far, like the black cat and all of these monochromatic, very muted colorways, this seems to be the move this year for the 39. So let me know what you guys think of this colorway and kind of Jordan brand strategy around the 39. Right here, we have a great look at the Curry 12 USA PE. This is kind of what Curry wore during those open runs when he first leaked them at um, Sacramento, California at, at Lifetime Fitness with those open runs again, but he wore this purple lilac colorway over there. Here he's wearing a USA PE. I actually did see these in advance when I visited Under Armour Portland at their, you know, innovation campus over there in Oregon. So I actually saw the Curry 12 last year. I saw the Curry 12 last year. And my first reaction was that it kind of like looks like a jet, especially with that midsole. You know, I really do like the design. It's another low top, but let me know what you guys think of the Curry 12. This is what we're getting. I don't know if this colorway will actually release, but I can't really complain. It seems like the materials, you know, they changed up a bit from when I last saw them, but overall looks exactly the same. So let me know what you guys think of the Curry 12. Right here, we have a better look at the AE1 Low USA. Again, these are supposed to release based on all of these sneaker news outlets saying that there will be three colorways of the AE1 Low USA supposed to release sometime in the fall or later this summer. So let me know what you guys think. I think these are the cleanest colorways of the lows, although I've seen a bunch of different colorways of the lows. We've even talked about them on this channel, but let me know what you guys think. They're, you know, Adidas again is like waiting a long time to release the lows. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of tired of waiting, but at the same time, I like kind of the hype that they're building for sure because he had a great run in the playoffs and every single colorway that releases sells out, which is great for the brand. So let me know what you guys think of this colorway right here. So out of every USA PE that we've talked about, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. I definitely have to go with these LeBron 21s for sure. And then definitely, obviously it's gotta be the Kobe 4s and the Kobe 6s, although we're never gonna see those release we, we have a better chance of the Currys releasing and the LeBrons releasing than these Kobe's. Like it's hard, it's hard to just get any Kobe's nowadays, but um, these are definitely PE's. I would be really surprised if they released, but we do have Skechers, New Balance, uh, Devin Booker's wearing these 
you know, triple black Air Force or not the Air Force one, the book ones. I really want like a triple black signature basketball shoe, but we never get them. They're usually just samples or TB colorways that only go to college teams. So overall, let me know what you guys think of every single USA basketball shoe here. I'm sure we'll get more and we're going to discuss them on this channel as always. But leave a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite here. Again, mine has to be these, these Kobe's and then the LeBron's. But again, let me know what you guys think. Follow me on all socials at DJ Hoops. Like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you made it this far. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.